My name is Kyle Ward. And I'm Peter Raymond. And today we're going to be talking about the business plan for the vineyards of Chateau Ho um, in inner city Cleveland. Um, the business is run by Mansfield Frazier. Uh, Mansfield was an ex-convict who used credit cards to spend over $10 million of other people's money. Um, he had a 29 year run of this and then before he was convicted of the crime. In 1994 he was released from prison and decided that he wanted to change his life and get away from um, being a criminal. He is now a, a businessman and the head of the vineyards of Chateau Ho in inner city Cleveland. His business plan for this winery, um, in November of 2013, he constructed his first bio cellar. And a bio cellar is a type of um, underground basement um, greenhouse, and I'll talk about that more in the next slide. Um, there's a three-fourths acre vineyard that he has built right now. Um, he did, he's gonna decide to hire ex-convicts to take care of the winery and handpick his grapes. Um, he decided this to give these ex-convicts a fresh start that he never got once he got out of jail. And then in the long run, his future plans are to make enough bio cellars and vineyards to support a winery in inner city Cleveland that he wants to build. Now going back to the bio cellar, a bio cellar is a type of greenhouse that reuses old basements of abandoned houses in Cleveland. And Cleveland has a ton of um, abandoned houses in its inner city. So this is a perfect opportunity uh, to create these bio cellars. Um, bio cellar, what they pretty much do is the basements are insulated with boxes built below the frost line which makes it possible for crops to grow. Um, even in the winter, the cold, harsh Cleveland winters, um, it stays above 50 degrees in these bio cellars. Um, solar panels will, uh, will help provide power on these bio cellars. And they will also capture rainwater uh, to help grow the crops. Um, and then these crops that are made in the winter will be able to sell, which will make profit for his vineyard and water. Um, here's a picture of the bio cellar. Uh, as you can see, it's just a demolished house with the basement remaining. Um, all these are below the frost line, which makes it uh, able to stay warm and crops to grow even in the cold winters of Cleveland. Um, his vision for BioCellar, um, it costs about $140,000 to make one BioCellar, um, and then A, it will become profitable and can thrive um, once these crops can grow inside. Um, crops will be sold to support the vineyard and winery plan, and these, uh, next, to, next to the BioCellar, he plans to um, have vacant lots where he will have other vineyards. Um, right now, his, in his one vineyard, like I said, it's three fourths acre, he only has one. Uh, it has 14 rows of vines breeding frontanic grapes. Um, these are great grapes for Cleveland. Uh, winter hardiness, disease resistant. Um, Cleveland has a desirable growth habit, uh, habitat, and they, uh, they have a high yield of grapes. Um, preparation for the grapes, so when he built this, he um, cut down existing, existing trees, topsoil was layered and leveled, and the grapevines were planted with support stakes and wires. Uh, here's a picture of the vineyard in downtown, that's the one that he has currently, and uh, now I'm going to turn it over to Pierre, and he's going to talk about the winemaking process. Okay. With the winemaking process, we're going to start with the grapes being harvested annually. These grapes are harvested harvest annually and are hand-picked. And this process, the process goes through with it being hand, hand picked because it's, it allows the best grapes to be picked if they're picked manually. And also, with when this process is finished, it will be stored in the Chateau Q once built. And starting with the whole wine, make, wine making process, there are six steps that's including distilling and crushing where the stems are separated from the grapes and berries. Also, pressing step two is pressing where skins and seeds are separated from the juice before fermentation. Fermenting where the yeast converts sugar to alcohol. Rock, racking and racking leaves and separating the wine from the spent yeast. Spent yeast cells and other solids after fermentation. Step five is clarification and stabilization. And six is filtration and, bo and bottling of the wine. Future plans uh, for Chateau U is the building of the winery, the sale of wine, the hiring, and the marketing aspect. Starting with the plans, Chateau U is not built, but this includes the Chateau Hugh includes the vineyard and the bio cellar. As of now, the building has not been built yet. There's uh, been funding that's going on for the uh, production of Chateau U, and once that's built, the whole the building will be complete. The sale of wine will include the sale either through glass or containers.
container for consumption. And in order for them to sell wine, they need a permit, which it, which it, the permit starts at $126 for each plant in which the permit is issued. And another will be for the sale, the sale of beer and intoxicating liquor. This will include that the uh, Chateau Hue, this is a permit that Chateau Hue would need to uh, have in order to sell their product between 2.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. And, and Sunday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Employees with the permit, employees may be under 21, but they must be over 21 around the consumption of alcohol or if they uh, produce within the wine making process, they would need to be over the age of 21. And the marketing, basically, Chateau is built, is built for the community. So the whole uh, aspect of marketing Chateau Hill is just for the community, to surrounding businesses such as hospitals or other uh, restaurants within the area to build within the community. And now I'm going to talk about uh, the management theory that we believe would be best for this uh, idea, uh, the administrative management theory. Um, this is a study of how to create an organizational structure that leads to high efficiency and high effectiveness. Um, his plan is great uh, with the bio seller being able to produce crops year round and him being able to sell. That's a great um, form of income for him, this, which will lead to more vineyards and then eventually the creation of the winery that he wants to build to support the city of Cleveland. Um, the funds, you know, high efficiency and high effectiveness uh, for this plan. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.